Employee intranet continues to be an essential component of how companies foster workplace engagement, create strategic alignment, and improve workflows and collaboration. Using Oracle Content and Experience, we created an employee intranet site template that customers can use as a base to build their own intranet websites that support a wide range of use cases and requirements. This template provides basic features, such as the ability to share company-wide information, a calendar for upcoming events, and an employee directory. It also supports a few advanced workflows and use cases, such as a discussion hub where employees can communicate, share ideas, and collaborate. What's exciting is that this template integrates with Visual Builder Cloud Service, also known as VBCS, and Process Cloud Service, also known as PCS, to add additional features to the intranet website. In particular, VBCS is used to integrate apps for the events calendar, and also for a form submission workflow for employees to sign up for training while PCS is used to create a task management system for employees, onboarding, and training. Cafe Supremo is a fictitious American coffee company and coffee house chain with stores locations worldwide. Cafe Supremo company goals are to first engage and communicate effectively with its employees, and second, allow the employees to collaborate and have access to any valuable information that they need in their day-to-day -day operations. And finally, enable employee training, task assignment, and support workflows. Let me give you a quick walkthrough demo of Cafe Supremo's intranet site built using Oracle content and experience. Let's see how an employee of Cafe Supremo will view the intranet site. First, they see a landing page with all the recent news articles on the company, any marketing materials or updates, product information, or promotions. For instance, the lifestyle section in the page is using an out-of-the-box component called File List that allows administrators to pull content and documents hosted on Oradocs and display them on the site. You can also see upcoming events at the company in this section, which is dynamically updated. While the content in the coffee section is coming in from the site repository on OCE using a content list out of the box component, any edits or changes to these content items are dynamically reflected on the site after they're published. Next, we can go to training to view different videos that Cafe Supremo employees can watch to learn on-the-job skills. In addition, they can sign up for training by clicking sign up and filling in the scheduled training form and pressing submit. This sign up workflow app is built using Oracle VBCS, which handles the process of scheduling and storing the submissions. And as you can see, we're embedding it into our intranet site. Next, let's say as an employee, I wanted to introduce myself to all other employees in the Northwest branch of Cafe Supremo. I can go to discussions, and as you can see, there are multiple discussion threads in the conversation list. And I'm gonna go select Northwest Connect and post my introduction here. One of the features that the template supports is for the employees to see the tasks assigned to them by their managers. Managers can do so on a different interface through VBCS, which we would look at in a bit. And on the intranet, employees can view all the tasks assigned to them by going to tasks. As you can see, there are multiple tasks assigned, and once the employee completes a task, they can just press complete it, and that's it. You can also see additional information and instructions and video tutorials that can be added to the task to help clarify expectations and help the employee perform the task. In addition, the intranet template comes with an employee directory that contains their roles, bios, and social media profile links. 
Finally, the template comes with a help section that contains an FAQ for the employees that they can search through. Now let's go into details on how OCE, VBCS, and PCS power some of the features and workflows that we just went through. First, let's show how a content author can create new structured content, such as a news article, and publish it on the intranet. First, we go to OCE and access the Cafe Supremo intranet asset repository under Assets. We then create a new content item and select News Article from the drop-down menu and create the desired article. Once the content writer edits the blog, they submit it for review to their manager. So now, as the news article is gone for approval, once the content manager receives the request for content approval, they review the content and approve it if it meets all expectation. In this case, it is the news article, Meet New Colleagues, And that's it. As you can see, our article is now live on the site. Now, let's say a manager would like to initiate a conversation thread on the intranet. First, as a site admin, I can go to OCE under collaboration on the side menu and select conversation. On the top right, I can click on create and enter the name of the conversation which in this case could be company annual retreat. Once this conversation is created, in practice, this last step would be done by a site administrator, but we can just go ahead and do it ourselves for the purpose of our demo. So with a few clicks, I can add the conversation on the site builder. Once committed, it would be live on the site and ready for all employees to start contributing to it. Now, let's see how VBCS and PCS are powering the training signup and task assignment workflows on the template. First, an admin can access the Oracle integration instance that is connected to the OCE instance where the intranet site is hosted. Let's first start by scheduling a training on the intranet and submit the form. In practice, a manager would view that employee submission through a separate user interface that connects to Oracle integrations. However, for the purpose of this demo, let's see the submission directly on Oracle integrations. Let's select the Visual Builder and click on the Training Schedule app. On the side menu, we access the Business Object, then select Appointment under the tab Objects. Finally, we select the Data tab in the appointment and switch from development to live. Et voila. Now you can see the data that we submitted through the form a minute ago on the intranet site. While we're here in the Oracle integrations, let's see the process of how a task can be assigned to an employee. Again, in a real world use case, a user interface would be built to facilitate these processes as this area is specifically for admins with high access control. Let's go back to the homepage and click on tasks. 
We first initiate a new request here and then click on the application to create a task. Next, I'll assign the task to myself. So I'll enter Robin Marlowe for the employee and manager ID, just to show you, and then click Submit. Let's check out the process on the left navigation menu. As you can see, it is now listed. Now, let's check it out on the intranet side. As a new employee, I can see the tasks that have been assigned to me, and I can watch the video tutorials and mark them as completed. That's it for our demo. I hope you found this walkthrough useful. Please don't hesitate to share any positive or constructive feedback you have. Thanks for watching.